What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Tonight we have the June 25th edition of Monday Night Raw Review. <laughs> So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I am totally freaking exhausted, and I literally, I'm going to do my best to go through the entire thing, but I don't think I can go through the entire thing. I missed like 20 minutes or so of the show because I fell asleep or something like that, but uh, we did have like one or two good things happen tonight, and uh, I guess we can get into that. I guess uh, the main event was pretty freaking nice, and then uh, that's about it, I would say. The rest was just complete filler garbage that nobody really cares about. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So Monday Night Raw opened up with Kurt Angle and Baron Corbin in the ring. He was talking about a post that Paul Heyman made on Facebook regarding Brock Lesnar and the Universal Championship. The big dog would come out and interrupt. He says that he wants to hear what Kurt has to say face to face. Then Bobby Lashley's music would hit. So out comes Bobby Lashley and we get what we got last week. There was actually a pretty big semi-pop for Bobby Lashley, so I don't know what that was about, but uh, Bobby Lashley, the words that he spoke during this promo were great. It was just like he's so robotic, guys. Just bless his freaking heart, Lord Jesus. Uh, he tells Roman that he deserves to hear Kurt just as much as Roman does, and that Roman needs to move on from the Universal Championship. Roman comes back and shits on Bobby Lashley's MMA career, even though I'm pretty sure he had a solid little MMA career, but uh, anyways, Roman says Bobby moved on 10 years ago after he main evented WrestleMania. He just left the company. Roman says Brock does what he wants, and Bobby says if Brock had a legit challenger, maybe he would show up every week and he says that Brock is sick of seeing Roman's face just like the WWE Universe is as well. I thought that was a really good line there. I thought that the words, again like I said, uh, his words were great. Bobby Lashley's words were great. It's just the delivery is just absolutely trash. Apparently the multi-man match at Extreme Rules is off the table. Something about contract disputes with Brock Lesnar. But I uh, don't know what they're going to do moving forward. Out come the Revival for some reason. So we're going to have the same BS tag match that we had from last week. Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley teaming up to take on the Revival. The Revival would win with a roll-up. And Corey Graves said that this is the biggest win of their WWE career. Like he had forgotten what they'd done in NXT. Like just, just get out of here, bro. Literally, guys, the rest of the night was literally garbage. We had Matt Hardy taking on Curtis Axel. Uh, same promo-ish that we saw last week. There was literally nothing. There was a two-second matchup. Curtis Axel would defeat Matt. It literally made no sense. Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt would applaud them after the matchup. It shows the Authors of Pain backstage with Titus O'Neil and Apollo Crews. Literally nothing. They shoved a crew member or something. Titus says, you know, show some respect to the uh, crew. Authors of Pain say no thanks. They go out. They beat some jobbers. Literally nothing. Later on in the night, Alexa Bliss comes out with Mickie James. Why is Mickie James even around? Guys, like, she hasn't been around for weeks and then she just pops up out of nowhere. That's just ridiculous booking made no sense at all out comes Natalia and then out comes Nia Jax so like, apparently Nia Jax is face again I don't know guys it just it, like the booking on Monday Night Raw is terrible that's why I can barely even get through the review guys it's just like it, it, I'm, there's no effort put into the booking I would much rather review Smackdown it's a lot better show a lot better quality but uh it's Natalia would end up beating Alexa Bliss uh, we had a six women tag with Ember Moon, Sasha, and Bailey taking on the Riot Squad. Bailey would beat the crap out of Sasha afterwards. We had No Way Jose versus Mojo Raleigh. Like, I, I just don't know. Kurt Angle tells Bailey if she doesn't go to mandatory counseling, she's fired. That's a little segment backstage. We had Braun and Kevin Owens taking on Balor and Corbin. KO and Braun would win, and then. Uh, Brock, Braun Strowman would then flip over Kevin Owens' car and catch it on fire or something like that. I woke up near the tail end of that, so I really didn't even get to see what really happened, but I was told that that was pretty much what happened. And then we had our amazing main event. So our main event was the Intercontinental Championship rematch between Dolph Ziggler and Seth Rollins. Obviously, Drew McIntyre at ringside. This was an amazing match, guys. Seth Rollins and Dolph Ziggler proving every single time they step in the ring why they are one of the best in the entire world at what they do. Great back and forth in this match. Up. You never knew who was going to win the thing. We literally had a great match up until the very end where Drew McIntyre would end up uh, jumping in the ring and just beating the crap out of Seth Rollins. You know, he would, they would both jump Seth Rollins or beating the crap out of Seth Rollins. And then the big dog showed up, and I thought that was pretty weird. I didn't understand that at all. I mean, I know that's his shield brother, even though they broke up or whatever again. I just, I don't know. That was just weird to me. I guess uh, Dean Ambrose couldn't be the one to come back just yet or something. 
But uh, even though Roman was involved with Bobby Lashley and all this stuff at the beginning and having a tag team match already, he joined another tag team in the later evening and he helped his brother out at the very end. But Dolph Ziggler did retain due to disqualification from Drew McIntyre's interference. Um, I want to apologize for the, uh, the lack of just... Uh, wanting to do this review guys but Monday Night Raw was absolutely awful tonight I just it was just awful it literally put me to sleep I literally fell asleep that's how bad it was uh, besides Seth Rollins and Dolph Ziggler and the opening segment I literally did not give a crap about anything that happened tonight and I apologize for that, but um, hopefully next week they'll be better. I am pumped to do SmackDown Live tomorrow night. Just a lot better roster, a lot better things going on over there. But um, not much happening tonight, guys. A bunch of tag team matches, a bunch of filler trash, and that was pretty much your Monday Night Raw. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Anyways, comment down below if you watched Monday Night Raw and what your thoughts were. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.